loopers are fun devices, especially for beatboxers. They're pretty expensive, though. Um, but the thing is, there are actually apps for smartphones that will do what a looper does. And some of them actually do it quite well. This one is an app called uh, called Looper um, without an E. And then there's another one called Looper with an E, which I've, I have screenshots of that, too. But, you know, the problem with these is that I can't plug a guitar on a mic into my phone, right? And I, and I can't plug my phone usually into a PA system on stage. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to do that. Okay, so here is more or less what I have in mind. So say that is your input right there. That is your mic. Um, put that through, I'm going to put that through a potentiometer. That right and say so you have another input it's always good to be able to use you know a guitar or something as well so you have that now I'm just going to connect these two together and now that is your input right there uh, and this is actually going to go straight through to the output as well Right, because you want the so that's your guitar. Uh, boy, spelling. Right, so that's your guitar. You want uh, these to be playing live as well as uh, looped. So now this over here is going to have to also be fed into the mic input on your phone. So take it uh, there and okay. So let me try and draw. A headphone jack like you have on a phone I apologize for the poor drawing say that and then you have these four divisions on it right so now from what I've been able to um, from what I've been able to gather this is usually the mic this first one over here, so that's the phone mic. Uh, this one is ground, so put that in ground. Now this and this are going to be the left and right uh, speaker uh, outputs. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect them. I'm hoping the phone knows how to deal with that. Um, and now this is also going to have to go to the output, right? But one of the problems that uh, I'm seeing here is, and I don't even really know if it's a problem, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe it's not a problem, but I don't want to put this output right back into the mic input here. Um, and un I don't really see a way to avoid doing that if I were to use one output, unless I have, you know, a power supply and I used voltage followers or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have another output. So I'm going to have one output, which is for li the live output straight from the mic and guitar, another one for the loops. And uh, another thing to notice, this here is a line level signal because it's meant for headphones. Everything else is uh, mic and instrument level signals. So I put a voltage divider here to bring that down to um, instrument level. And another thing that I want to do is I want to put a resistor over here, right, to basically limit the flow of current into uh, whatever is taking up current here, because you might have a mixer here with really low input impedance, and uh, then really the voltage change that this thing would see might be um, too small. Now, over here, this one in the bottom here is a potentiometer, so I can adjust that and that is going to be loops out um, yeah so that's basically what I have now the values which I'm going to the values of resistance which I'm going to use aren't really based of anything much at all but um, uh, you know I, I, I read that the typical input impedance for an amplifier that's meant to use a mic is about 2 kilo ohms so I'm going to make this 10k just because it, it just, I don't know why. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not doing any math, really uh, doing much math here. I, I don't know if it would be very helpful because the kind of voltages that you get um, from from 
mics and guitars and stuff uh, and also the kind of currents that you can get uh, vary quite a bit so I'm, I'm just going to um, go ballpark here and have potentiometers so that I can so that I can level things out this I'm going to say let that be 100 ohms um, and I'm going to mm, over here I'm going from line level to mic level and I think there's a factor of about uh, 10 to 20 over there so I'm going to make this 10 K and this 1 K I could make those smaller but yeah, there's no need um, yeah so that's uh, that's a maximum of a factor of um, well I should say a minimum of a factor of 11 over there the difference and so this is basically what I have in mind let me see if I can assemble this circuit now. Uh, so I'm going to use these uh, quarter inch um, sockets for input and output. Potentiometers like these have a whole bunch of resistors and wire. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I need, right? Okay, so I don't have one of these uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jacks with four contacts on it like this um, honestly even these things these uh, quarter inch sockets they're quite hard to find where did find a store that sold them but uh, I don't have one of these what I want to do is you know this pair of earphones doesn't work anymore so I'm just going to use a length of this maybe that much something like that and cut this open and see if I can figure out you know which of these contacts um, connects up to which of the wires inside and hopefully the wires are thick enough that uh, you can work with them now obviously I can't find my scissors because um, because it would be nice to have them right now but I have a utility knife that should do I cut myself once in this thing so I'm going to try and be a little careful there we go um, now, let's see if I can um, see if I can figure this out. one blue is three and then orange is what is it uh, what I'm going to do is I'm mixing some epoxy here I'm going to actually put this uh, epoxy on this and uh, mount it onto this bit of cardboard because that, those joints seem a bit uh, a bit flimsy um, fragile let's say so okay so this is this is blue I think so that is going to be uh, three so let me write three here get some of this epoxy and put it Cable. I have that fix 
this chair with some epoxy because I don't want you know I don't want that to be yanked out of that. Um, now what I'm going to do I'm going to actually put this bit of corrugated cardboard on top over there. So I'll stick that on there but before before that here so I have these three pens right and I'm going to take the backs off here and yikes so let's do that and I'm thinking of actually using those as the knobs on these um, on these potentiometers which is this one and then this one is the live output and this of course plugs into the phone Then it worked. 